In a previous video, I compared Perplexity with Bing Chat and with ChatGPT. Perplexity just released a Chrome plugin, which is supposedly gonna make our browsing experience a lot better. So let's take a peek at it and see what it's capable of. So if you go over to perplexity.ai and then come up to the top right over here and click on Chrome extension, you can come to the Chrome web store and install the extension. Now I've already installed it, but typically there'd be a button here to add to Chrome. You click that and it'll create this little perplexity box up in the corner. So in this video, I want to try a few things and see what we can do with it. Now, when I go up and click to open it, it gives us some options. It can search the internet, it can search this domain, or it can search this page. So let's see how well it searches futuretools.com. Let's select this domain and search SEO tools. So it looks like it searched future tools and it says there are a variety of SEO tools available from future tools. These include SEO.ai, Content Edge, OnPage AI, AI Writer, and more. And then it gives us the links to those specific pages on the site. I mean, that's already pretty cool. It already sort of up levels your experience using future tools. So let's click on one of them. Let's click into SEO AI here and it opens up the SEO AI tool right here on future tools. Let's try another one here. Let's continue to search this domain. This time let's ask what's a good tool for turning longer videos into TikTok videos. Let's see if it could answer that for us. Clipmaker.ai is a tool that can help users convert their YouTube videos into clips for use on TikTok and Instagram. It uses AI to generate short clips and can be used to turn longer videos into TikTok friendly content. And then it gives us the source right here. And there we go. It brings us Clipmaker. Clipmaker is a tool that helps users convert their YouTube videos into clips to use on TikTok. I mean, holy crap, dude, this is awesome. <laughs> this is actually a feature I was planning on building into the Future Tools website where you could just ask questions and it'll recommend the best tools based on what's available. But in the meantime, while we're waiting, this perplexity tool searching this domain is pretty dang cool. Let's say, what is a free tool to upscale an image? All right. Image Upscaler is a free tool that uses the latest AI technology to quickly and easily upscale images. Offers batch processing, blah, blah, blah. Other free tools for upscaling images include AI Image Upscaler, Gigapixel AI Upscaler, Let's Enhance and AI Image Enlarger. Now these aren't all free because I know Gigapixel is a paid one, but it does have a free trial. Technically you could use it for free. Already that's pretty dang cool. Let's just go to mattwolf.com. And I had this article that we wrote through AI in a previous YouTube video, The Future of businesses here. Let's see if we can get it to summarize this article. So let's select just this page, summarize this article. Using AI for business process automation can help entrepreneurs maximize efficiency and performance with real-time insights and analysis, AI powered automation. So it looks like it it's only citing this one page and it seems to do a pretty good job of it. And this is the concise description. So let's click on view detailed. Now the detail doesn't seem like it's a whole heck of a lot longer than the concise one. This blog post is discusses how entrepreneurs can use AI for business process automation to maximize efficiency and performance as well as blah, 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 blah. Okay, so it seems like it can read articles as long as the articles are within a certain length. Now, what I'm really curious about is how does it handle a YouTube video? Can it actually summarize a YouTube video? I'm honestly not sure. We're gonna find out right now. So I jumped over to my friend's channel, AI Entrepreneur here, and let's take a peek at his latest video, Character Turnaround in Stable Diffusion. Let's open this up here. Let's see if it actually could do anything with a YouTube video. Let's go ahead and ask perplexity. Let's just select this page and say, summarize this video. All right, so it actually gives us a recommendation. It says summarize.tech provides an AI powered video summarization tool to get a summary of any long YouTube video, like a lecture, live event, or government meeting. So it's giving us suggestions, but it's not actually able to summarize a YouTube video. So, all right, so it's not super helpful with YouTube videos, good to know. Now, one of the examples that they gave on their Twitter thread was using it on Reddit. So let's go to Reddit and let's think of a product review. So we just got a PlayStation 5 at my house with the new Hogwarts Legacy game. So let's come up to Perplexity, just kind of leave it on the Reddit homepage here and let's search this domain and say, how do gamers feel about Hogwarts Legacy? Let's see if it searches all of Reddit for us for reviews on Hogwarts Legacy. All right, it says gamers generally have a positive opinion of Hogwarts Legacy, praising its
its unique world and sense of exploration. Many find the mechanics thoughtfully implemented and the story and spellbooks enjoyable. However, some find the combat repetitive and the menu slow. And then you can see it cites a bunch of sources here. The microphone I'm using here is an Elgato Wave 3. So let's just type in what do people think of the Elgato Wave 3 microphone. All right, so it says people generally seem to have a positive opinion of the Elgato Wave 3 microphone. Some users appreciate its quality for streaming and chatting, while others prefer it over other USB microphones they've used in the past. They also mentioned it has direct monitoring capabilities and it can be beneficial to use with a boom arm. However, some people are hesitant to invest in it due to this price tag. And then we've got a few reviews. I'm hesitant to click on any one of these because as soon as I click on one of them, it's going to close this perplexity box and I'm going to lose everything here. Let's go ahead and ask a follow-up question. So, okay, if you click ask a follow-up, it takes me to the perplexity homepage, plugs in the response to what it just did, and now it's citing sources from more than just Reddit. If somebody at perplexity is watching, that's one annoyance there is that it clears the deck every time this closes up here and I really wish it wouldn't. Maybe that's a limitation of of a Chrome extension, I don't know, but that is sort of a frustrating thing. If I click on one of the sources, I'd like to be able to come back up to my Chrome extension and click on another one of the sources and see, you know, the second page in the source list. All right, let's try it over on Amazon. Now I have a camera coming in the mail called an Insta360 X3 that I'm really excited to play with because I'm going to be able to do some nerf capturing with it. So let's go ahead and click on the first listing here. Hopefully it's one with a lot of reviews, 808 ratings. So let's go ahead and ask perplexity on this one. So let's go ahead and click this page only and say, what are the pros and cons of the Insta360 X3? Let's see if it'll give me a pros and cons list here. All right, so it gave me more sources than just this page again, but let's see what it says. It offers a 2.29 inch touchscreen, improved voice control, has an adjustable field of view. All right, so that's not really pros and cons. Let's go ahead and click on the view detailed and see if it actually gives us more here. All right, so now it's actually giving me pros and cons down here. This is what I was looking for. All right, so all I had to do on this one was view the detailed version and it gave me some more. So pretty much the same thing here, everything about the camera. The pros of the Insta360 include improved design, larger buttons, vibration feedback, improved image quality, 72 megapixel photos, 8K time-lapse. Cons of the Insta360 include difficulty streaming live, as well as an unknown price difference between it and the One X2. So this is helpful because if I'm looking at a product on Amazon, I could in real time, instead of scrolling down and reading all the reviews, just tell it to write me out the pros and cons of this product that I'm looking at. Let's see what happens when I search all of Amazon here. Let's just go ahead and do a search for this whole domain and say, which Insta360 camera should I buy? All right, it gave me some information, but I think I wanna view the detailed. And you can see that it found three sources all on Amazon here. Insta360 X3 is another good option for those looking to buy an Insta360 camera. It has a half inch, 48 megapixel, 5.7K. It's important to consider your needs when deciding which Insta360 to buy. Consider factors such as budget, desired features and functions. All right, so it's basically saying it's between the One X2 and the X3, which I wonder if it can do searches on Twitter. That'd be interesting. So if I search this domain, let's type in, who should I follow on Twitter who talks about AI? All right, so for those interested in artificial intelligence on Twitter, accounts to follow include AI for anyone, equal AI, DeepMind, and AI together. They discuss topics related to AI. Let's click on view detailed, see if it gives us even more. All right, so it pretty much suggests the same ones, just a little bit more detail around each of them. Now I'd like to follow all these, but again, if I click into one of them, it's going to close this little box and screw me up, which is, oh, that's my big frustration with this tool. Other than that, this thing is pretty dang awesome. I'm probably just scratching the surface of what it can do. There's been a lot of talk about the chat inside the Bing browser. And quite honestly, this does exactly what that does. The only issue with this one that the Bing browser doesn't seem to have is the memory problem. This one seems to forget what Whatever you left in that box. Coolest thing I've seen so far. Let's head on over to futuretools.io where it lists a ton of AI tools. Check it out if you haven't already. Also jump on the free newsletter if you haven't already because I send the five coolest tools every week as well as some YouTube videos, some AI news, and a cool way to make money with AI. But that's not why I brought you here right now. I just want to reiterate how cool this is for this website. If you want to search future tools with perplexity by asking future tools a question,
question. It's a pretty awesome way to do it. What are some tools that can help me with my YouTube channel? Bada bing, bada boom. There are several tools available to help you with a YouTube channel. Glass YouTube Summarizer, free Chrome extension, Clip Maker converts YouTube videos into clips for TikTok and Instagram. Extractify generates content from YouTube videos for Twitter, LinkedIn, and other platforms. Finally, you can make an AI animated talking head with free tools. And there's the links to all of them. Let's click on Extractify here. It pulls up Extractify right here inside of Future Tools. That, in my opinion, is freaking awesome. Between what it can do on future tools, where it searches the site, lets you ask questions of future tools, what it can do on Amazon, where it can search the reviews and write you up the pros and cons list of a product. If you're looking for real human reviews on places like Reddit, you can go and ask a question of Reddit and it will search Reddit for real reviews. I imagine it'll do the same thing for places like Rotten Tomatoes and IMDB and sites like that. It summarizes articles for you, like I just showed you on the mattwolf.com blog. Lots of really really cool stuff. I can see using this a lot. There's a lot of potential with perplexity. So far, I really like it better than what I've seen with the Bing chat and other similar search tools that are also Chrome extensions. This is the one that I'm gonna leave installed for now and use myself. I really dig it. One thing I beg of perplexity, have it have a little bit of a memory. If I click on a link in here and then I come and click on the Chrome extension again, it still shows what was just in there. It's my one wish of it. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like all these cool AI tools and you wanna learn more about them, subscribe to this channel because I'm making them almost every single day and give this video a like because if you give this this video a like it'll make sure more of them pop up in your feed all right thanks so much for tuning in i really appreciate you i'll see you guys in the next one